brought to you by RBD Instruments. This video will show you how to align the TV monitor microscope to the focal point of a Physical Electronics 5000 series X-ray photoelectron spectrometer. This procedure requires a slotted silver specimen standard which is mounted on a recessed sample mount. The RBD part number is 612236RE. This slotted sample is used to determine the precise location of the analyzer's focal point by moving the sample stage and determining where the silver XPS signal is and where it drops off as the sample is moved to where the analyzer is looking into a slit. By comparing the microscope image on the TV monitor to the analyzer signal, you can determine the precise analyzer focal point. The analyzer lens design accommodates a number of different areas that are determined by changing the analyzer aperture knob and also the aperture setting in the software. By locating the smallest hole in the silver specimen and adjusting the X, Y, and Z axis on the specimen stage for the lowest possible counts, the precise analyzer focal point is obtained. If the Z height is slightly higher or lower than the optimal position, the counts will increase as the analyzer will be looking at the larger area as shown in this diagram. We begin by loading the slotted silver specimen into the vacuum chamber. The slotted specimen should be mounted on a recessed sample mount. If you don't have a recessed sample mount, then use some washers or spacers between the slotted specimen and the sample mount. The slits need to be parallel with the nose of the analyzer lens. You position the sample about 0.65 inches from the end of the analyzer lens. This is close to the correct Z position. That's a good starting point. Lightly sputter the slotted silver specimen with the largest raster possible. Typically that's 10 by 10 millimeters. Depending on which phi system you have, the aperture knob and software setting will determine the analysis area. For this procedure, let's start out with a 400 micron analyzer area. For most phi XPS systems, that will correspond to an aperture setting of 3 on the analyzer and the minimum area mode in the software. This shows the aperture on the analyzer that you would set to 3. Set up an alignment acquisition in the software with an upper limit of 375 EV and a lower limit of 365 EV. Use a large pass energy such as 187.85 EV per step of 1 and a time per step of 30 to 50 milliseconds. You also have to set it in the software you have to select the lens, the aperture, and the area. So again, this is where in our software you would select the app, uh, lens type for your system, typically Omni 3 or Omni 4. The aperture has to match the hardware setting on the analyzer, and then the area mode would be, in this case, um, uh, minimum area. Okay, so this is what our alignment looks like here. Um, if you have a standard 15 kV dual source, you're going to use that for the procedure because it has a larger excitation area than the mono source. You bring the source down to where it starts to block the microscope TV image, like it is here. It's shadowed. So we'll move the sample around a little bit here and uh, zoom up a little so you can kind of see what this looks like with the uh, TV image. You're going to start the alignment acquisition and move the specimen stage to the end of the slotted silver specimen that has the 1,000 micron or 1 millimeter slot. As you move into the slot, the counts will drop off. As you move out of the slot, the counts will come up. By correlating the counts to the position of the specimen stage, you can determine where the analyzer is looking inside of the slot. Position the silver specimen to the end of the 1,000 micron slot and put a mark on the TV monitor. This is your initial alignment spot. Okay, here we're seeing the alignment, the silver peak, it's going up. And then as we move into a slot, it starts dropping down. So this is how you determine where you're looking. Next, you move into the 800 micron slot and repeat the procedure. Basically, you're going to confirm that you're in the 800 micron slot and that, you're, and that you come out of the slot on a corner and you can say confidently, yeah, I think I'm here. And you put a mark on the TV. It's your initial point to say, okay, I think this is where I'm at. Then you're going to move it into the 400 micron slot and, and, and do the procedure again. Now, with the center of the hole at the correct Z height, the counts will drop to about 30% of the maximum counts when in the hole, when, when not in, as compared to when not in the hole. The analysis area is 400 microns with this setting, and so with the Gaussian distribution, 
you should see about a 65% drop off in the counts when the analyzer is looking in the center of the hole versus when it's looking off to the side. Once you're certain that you're in the center of the 400 micron hole, adjust the microscope focus collar, X, Y, uh, lock that down so the TV image is uh, in focus and it's centered on the 400 micron hole. Next, you're going to stop the alignment and change the aperture knob to 1 on the analyzer and to 1 minimum area in the software. You're going to repeat this procedure using the 150 micron procedure in hull. Once you're certain that you have the correct focal point and have adjusted the microscope focal ring and X and Y, give the camera a gentle whack to make sure that it stays in the, cent in the position that it's still focused. If it moves off a little bit, readjust the X and Y and tighten the focus down and make sure that it stays um, in place even if you hit it. Uh, that's very, very important because um, if, the sa if the camera gets bumped a little bit, um, you know, somebody bumps the system or whatever and it moves a little bit, you're not going to be looking where you think you're looking at. Okay, so this is what the TV monitor and uh, image and the uh, software looking at the peak and there's the specimen stage and here's the camera. The focus ring on the camera is the, located at the base of the collar. And the X and Y are two little thumb screws that you adjust. You, I mean, two axes for thumb screws, X and Y. So you can tilt the camera and get it to the point where you want to. You loosen the focus ring and you can adjust the camera in and out as necessary to get it to be focused. So for more information, please visit our website at www.rbdinstruments.com. And the key to this procedure is to use a known good slotted silver specimen, which we provide at rbdinstruments.com. Thank you.